Hey everyone, welcome back to another video where we talk about how to put your comic on Amazon Kindle. If you haven't watched our first video, I recommend you go and watch that now. In that video we talk about actually creating a comic in the Amazon Comic Maker and then uploading it to the Amazon KDP platform. Today we're going to take that a little bit further and we're going to talk about paneled viewing. So what is panel viewing? When you're viewing a comic in Amazon Kindle, you have the ability to read the comic panel by panel. So what does that mean? Well, if you look at this comic page here, we have for Gallant Name issue five. This is one of the pages. Now, if you are reading this in the, on your Kindle or your Android or anything like that, you'd see the whole page as a screen, which is great. But some there is this new trend of being able to read it panel by panel, and some of the major comic apps are doing that. So now Kindle does that as well. So for example, if you were to, in your app and you were to double click onto the page, if you've got Kindle panel detection set up, it will be like this. You'll now read the comic panel by panel. So it just grays out the background, highlights the actual panel you're reading, and just gives it more of a read through the flow of the story. So this is great for people that obviously and news comics and not necessarily sure what panel they should be reading in what order. So the question is how do you do this? In order to show you this we're going to jump back into the Amazon Comic Maker. So we're back in Kindle Comic Creator and now we're going to look at how we set up the panels themselves. But before that we need to just quickly set up a new book. So we're just going to quickly go through this and set up very default settings for everything. Uh, this is Gallant and Deimos issue 5. Rob Barnes is our author. Fair Spark Books is the publisher. We're going to give it a quick cover and we're just going to save this in in the same folder. But I've already done this in the past so we're just going to give it Kindle 2. And then we start adding pages. Now I'm going to skip through all this so that you can watch the other video which I'll link to here but in essence you just upload all the PNGs and once they are loaded in you're now back onto this view that we had before adding panels to the Kindle comic is one of two ways when you're in the app if you right click on a page for example here is page one of the comic you can do add new Kindle panel so new Kindle panel if you click this it's going to add like a little square for this page and what you want to do is you want to drag that around and then resize that uh, there we go where's the little arrow to resize resize that to show where the panel is and that's going to appear in the panels manager on the right and again you can do this again for another panel if panels overlap it's going to warn you that there's an overlapping panel. Sometimes, depending on the design, you might want to do an overlap panel. So for example, if you have a page where you have an image like this one, for example, it has like this square panel inside it, what we could do is add a new panel, drag that into here, and then resize this on top. So now you've got a panel within a panel. So the viewing of that would be You'd view panel one, you'd view panel two as a whole, and then view panel three. You can obviously drag and drop the ordering of panels so that they become one, two, and three. And that's essentially how you do that for every page. Now, if you're like Gallant Namos and you've got your comics laid out with a very consistent background color and it's clearly defined where the borders are, the comic maker has a really cool way of doing it. So let's just go to the page three, for example. Right click the page and click detect panels. Now if you do this for all, you can either do this for an individual page or all the pages. So we'll do it individually first so we can see the effect. You'll click in this page and it's now automatically detected all the panels. Now it's not always perfect because here you can see that it's thought that this whole section is one panel and obviously that's not correct so you'd have to just manually adjust that we can do that by just oh, there we go it's a little bit temperamental so if we just adjust this by moving this here we'll bring panel two 
up to here. Nope. It's quite hard to drag and drop with this, but two, and then we can just do a new panel here to say that six is actually this one. And then we'd have to go to the right, just drag up this to here to make sure it becomes the, fourth, uh, the third one. One, two, three. That's just a single page, but if you want to save yourself some time, you can just right click detect panels and then all pages. It's going to do it for the whole book, so it takes a few seconds. And as you can see now, with every page, it's tried to auto detect all of the comics uh, panels and it's tried to order them correctly. Definitely worth making sure that you go through every page and just confirm that it's set up the way you want it. For example, this page, yes, it's definitely noticed it's an advert, that's great. And the same here, like even on the back page, you may want people to have a look at this whole thing, but then have another little panel that just looks at the advert that we've got on the back. Something you can also do to try and help with the experience of the viewer is to set the zoom level that happens when you actually view a panel. For example, if I was to double click this page, this panel here of Gallant Namos, it will do it at 100% size. So it just kind of zooms in, just focuses it. However, if I was to right click this third panel, set the zoom level, so you can do 100, 125, 150, 250. If we just done 250 for example, and then double click this, it's now going to take up the whole page. But if we revert that back to back to the 100%, you're going to see now it's just highlighting it. So you're just being able to have that extra little bit of tweaking to say, this little panel can actually become a lot larger in that viewing experience. Uh, so that's a really great thing to do. So take your time to play around and get used to it. Once you've exported your book, it's always best to open it up in the Kindle Previewer and just read through the book from start to end, going through all the panels, making sure that everything's as you would like to see it. And then just keep going back and tweaking until you're happy 100% with it. For example, let's go and have a look at page one that we changed so we added that third panel so we'll skip through to page one and what we're going to do is to simulate this we're going to double click in the previewer and it's going to highlight the first panel and then if we right click it's going to take us to the second panel which is the combination of the two and then if we click again it's going to bring up just highlighting the third little panel just to show that little car to dig dig it off and you can just keep going all the way through um, I haven't optimized this, this is still just the automatic one that was done. What you just need to do is take your time, for the first time you ever do this, go through, get used to the tool, and you'll just come up with some really great experiences for reading via panel view. So I hope you enjoyed this very quick tutorial on what panel view is in Comic Maker and how that works in the Kindle format. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like the video and share it around. And please subscribe to the channel. It'd be really great to meet all of you and speak in the comments section. Please let us know in the comments what other videos you'd like us to do. There's plenty of comic and digital app environments where you have to upload. We are looking at doing series on Comixology, Comic House. If you'd like to see us cover any specific parts about any of these platforms, please also let us know in the comments below. And until next time, thank you very much. Have a great day.